uh, harsh words to say that uh, Mantashe is conflicted. Why do you say this? No, it's not that uh, it's a harsh word. Uh, it's just it's not used often. Uh, you know, you'll recall that uh, before, or rather, let me start by saying it is a prerogative of the president uh, to choose his uh, cabinet ministers, of which uh, we don't want to interfere much. But since we are in the sector ourselves, looking back at the history, uh, before the the massacre, you'll remember that the sitting president had a meetings with uh, Mr. Gwede Mantashe. And then when he was confronted through cross-examination, he said no, he invited him because he was a former NUM. But when Advocate Dalimpov produced evidence that no, you called him in this capacity as a general secretary of the ANC. So therefore you could see clearly that he was trying to hide that the ANC was involved mm. one way or another. ANC was aware of what was happening. That is the one instance. And then the second one, during the five-month strike, uh, when the, the Minister of Mineral was Nwakura uh, Matlodi, mm. when he was uh, busy trying to resolve the strike to reach a deal with all partners, he was recalled at uh, Irene, where the ANC had Lekhutla in 2014. And then he phoned, phoned us and said he'd been called by the Tule House that he must just leave uh, that intervention of his uh, during the strike. And then thirdly, with the recent, uh, recent killings uh, at Marikane, at Lon Min, uh, his relative he is, is one of the suspects who is out of bail of 10,000 rand in killing of AMCO mm. members. And uh, those things, it put a cloud whereby the state president still wants to come and meet the families. And at the same time, he brought Mr. Mantashe uh, to be a minister of mineral and energy in the same environment that is highly contested, of which he's got an interest. He's mm. a former NUM leader. He's been the ANC general secretary. Now it's a minister. So all those things, uh, uh, it, it doesn't augur well with us as AMCO. But some say that he's got such a strong background in mining is a good thing because he understands, and he understands both worlds. And right now the mining sector is not in the best of place. So wouldn't you rather have someone with such an understanding to take it forward? Not necessarily because we, we are saying this uh, deployment base of your comradeship, it doesn't assist the environment as such. I could see Chamber of Mine, which are the still custodian of oppression of the black mine workers in South Africa, uh, is been giving him all the glory that they think that is going to change anything. The fact of the matter is not going to change anything. If they were not happy with the mining charter by Mseben Zezwane and the state president recall the parties back to, I mean, to the table, so surely somewhere, somehow, they will reach some compromise. Secondly, the issue of uh, Mr. Ramaphosa being the state president, of which has been applauded, uh, applauded by many of the investors, which they were so happy. Nothing else is just to say there must be no Section 54. You mustn't be harsh on us in order to gain the, the foreign investor confidence to us. So therefore, w those are the things that we are not sure whether he's going to change anything or he will just soften the blows that the investors or the mining sector is feeling right now. Have you spoken to Gwede since his appointment? No, 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 no. We haven't spoken to. Uh, You're going to need to speak with him as the you know leader of the biggest platinum uh, mining or platinum mine union you're going to need to talk and i'm interested in how those conversations will go given your history with mr mantash no I, i'm not holding any personal grudge uh, with mr Ma uh, mr mantash that must be clear we will respect him as a minister appointed legitimately by the democratic government of which the the ball is in his court whether he will be able to separate his legacy from NUM office and to the political party office, which is the ANC and the government. If you'll man he will be able to separate mm -hmm. uh, those, uh, uh, I mean, uh, 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 what's name, uh, what you call it, uh, those disciplines 
then we will have no problem with him at all. But we are raising this as a serious issue because him and Cyril come from NUM and went to the ANC. Now they are running the government. So in other words, the government of, the South, Afri of South Africa is run by the NUM. You know, when President Ramaphosa said that or asked the mining industry to essentially take their case out of court, let's talk behind closed doors, did he call you? Are you involved in those conversations? No, we are not involved. Uh, uh, and uh, we were very much critical with the mining charter, even during Msebenzi Zwan. Mm. Uh, we thought maybe we will be called, but it never sufficed, of which we hope in future, if there will be any forum, will be invited. Now, uh, Ramaphosa, it's understood that President Ramaphosa wants to go to Maragana to go and speak to the miners there. How do you think he'll be received? Uh, I think, firstly, it was not supposed. If I were Mr. Ramaphosa, I wouldn't even announce, even in the sauna, uh, that he is willing, he wants to be in the atonement of whatever the wrongs that happened there. He should have quietly call all the stakeholders, ourselves, the legal representatives, because remember in 2015, uh, the, the then state president, uh, Mr. Zuma, uh, he made the such a, a pronouncement, let's fix the issue of Marikane, let's speed up the processes of payments and claims. And then after then everything went quiet. So I thought you would be very quiet on this and call the stakeholders to say, how do we move forward based on this issue? This is how I view things. What will be your take? Then quietly we involve all stakeholders. As we come before the public, the nation, we are formidable. We know we talk in one voice, mm. if I was him. But not just go in the gallery and just say, I'm prepared to do everything. At the same time, look now, he's appointing Gwede Mantashe without realizing that the same Gwede Mantashe was implicated in Marikana massacre.